AZ Reloader coming at you here. I wanted to do a kind of somewhat quick update uh, video. Um, it's been a while since I've done my last video. I want to show you all my uh, 6.8 SPC build and then kind of go over my load development for my AR-10 chambered in 300 WISM. Um, I tried doing a longer video and uh, for some reason it won't download. So this is my second attempt at this video, but I'm just cutting some stuff out to make it shorter. Here's the 6.8 SPC build. It's a 16 inch barrel with a carbon link gas system. The barrel is from Deadshot barrels um i did a black and sniper gray build um i got a yankee hill uh break on it and then um the upper and lower are uh and handguard are from juggernaut tactical and as well as the charging handle, the uh, bolt carrier group is from WMD Guns, and the uh, buttstock and handguard are from Magpul. And then I got it top with a Strike Eagle one to eight optic. Um, that's not the uh, optic that I'm gonna keep on it. I just uh, got a good deal on that, so I I needed and I needed an optic, so I bought it. I do plan on doing a Trigicon Agog site eventually. Um, I've always wanted one of those, but that's my 6.8 SPC build. I've done a uh, function testing on it, and so far it seems to be doing all right. Uh, it's nothing. Nothing too crazy yet. Still, still have a couple of issues to work out, but uh, I got an adjustable gas uh, block on it, so should be able to figure that out. Hopefully, <laughs> um, the weird thing that I have going on with it is I can fire two rounds consecutively, but then it doesn't pick up the third round, so. Uh, I just gotta, I guess, mess with the gas block. I, I did mess with it out in the field and couldn't remedy the situation. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm sure there's something I did wrong. Um, but we'll get it figured out. The bullets that I plan on using for it, I'll show those to you. This is what I plan on using for the load development. 120 grain SST, 110 grain VMAX. Um, for my for my uh, 300 Wisdom, I finished load development on that. I, I still might do some tweaks here and there, but um, I used three bullets. I'll show those to you. Right there, 150 grain SST, 168 grain AMAX, and 168 grain Acubon long range. Um, I'm running Superformance powder for that. So uh, the load development is kind of kind of a clusterfuck on the. 300 wisdom. Um, so when I first started load development, um, I'm using Norma brass. Uh, that's all I could really find when, when I started my load develop or wanted to start my load development. So it's expensive brass. Um, so far I think I've got like five firings on some of it. Um, no issues. Uh, but so when I first started, I had a pound of MagPro that I bought, um, went through that pretty quick because I started my load development at a hundred yards and for whatever reason thought I would, uh, 
move out to 300 yards, that didn't go well. Um, I think it was more me um, probably being a crappy shot. I don't know. Um, and then I went back to 100 yards. But I started out with MagPro. <clears throat> excuse me. And then couldn't get that. So then I went to Vitavori N170 because I could get that at a local gun shop that happened to have it in stock. So I didn't want to have an issue of running out of powder again, especially in low development. So they had like four pounds. I ended up buying all four pounds. Um, loaded up a couple of uh, like 10 test rounds to at two different weights, charge weights to uh, get, get an idea of velocities with a compressed load and, and non-compressed load. And I didn't realize that Vitavori was a stick powder. Um, so compressed load, I got about 2,600 feet per second with 168 grain Amax, um, where I don't remember how many grains of MagPro, but I wasn't even com close to being compressed with MagPro, and I was getting about 2,900 feet per second. Um, so I ended up selling the Vitavori came across the Superformance. Someone had bought it a while back and wanted to get rid of it. So I figured I'd take it. I didn't want eight pounds, but it was what was available. So I took it. Um, and that stuff actually gets a, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm trying to lessen the shaky hand syndrome. Um, so that, uh, not, I, I don't know, I'd probably say about 90% mm, full case with the 168 grain AMAX, I'm getting about 3,100 feet per second. So I still got more vol case volume if I wanted to push it. Um, but out of the three bullets, the Acubon Long Range, uh, I believe has done the best um, out, as far as my load development. I... Thought I had the targets, I was looking for them before I shot shot this video, but can't find them. I think I threw them away by accident. I want to say on that, I uh, was getting about half MOA at 100 yards. Um, and that that's being pushed at about 3,200 feet per second. Um, so that's a, a pretty fast moving bullet um but uh it's uh i, I want to say the sst was just under moa and then the amax was about three quarter moa or shooting groups three quarter inch groups about at 100 yards um but that's kind of how things have been going so far um like i said i probably won't start low development on the 6.8 SPC until the fall. Um, so that's all. I just wanted to throw that out at you guys until next time. Happy reloading. Uh, shoot, be safe and shoot more accurately than me.